Hello, folks. Time for another video. And the shave. Well, I'm still in that kind of islandy mood. So, of course, why not pick Island Man from Sterling? This is an awesome islandy scent. There's so much going on here. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just all these great scents. I feel like bergamot and lime and I think there's coconut. But I'll pop up the scent profile for you guys so you can check it out yourself. Boom. There's the old scent profile. And it is in stock. I did check this morning before I started my video. It is in stock because I know this is a seasonal. So uh, I think it only comes out around like spring and summer. Anyway. Let's pop up the ingredients right there. I'll well, actually pop up, but it's right on the label. Sterling Island Man. Now, a friend of mine actually has this scent too. And he says it kind of reminds him of Windex. I kind of get that, but it's not like heavy on the Windex. It's just a great islandy scent. All those scents combined there. Great, great. I just love this soap. Anyway, and we're using the Razor Rock Eco today with the stock handle I came with. I don't know if you can get different handles for this. I don't think so. But there's the Razor Rock Eco in green. Forget green, why not? I should put a green shirt on. Because the brush I'm using, I haven't used in a very long time. This used to be my favorite brush. But then the knot fell out and the coin fell out, so. But I repurposed the handle and I put a 30 millimeter tuxedo knot from Magritte's in there. I just put a Parkway token in there from the Garden State Parkway, which they don't make those tokens anymore. And it's a beast of a brush. Let me tell you, 30 millimeter tuxedo knot from Maggart's. Yeah. And I have that all whipped up in the timeless ball. It definitely makes a awesome lather because the knot is so huge. You'll see when I put it on my face in a minute. All right. My, oh, yeah. And blade in that Razor Akiko is the crown half blades all right weather in here in new jersey have been nuts lately it was hot cold hot cold last night it was nice and chilly had all the windows open woke up in the house it was like 50 degrees in the house today but the sun's out my wife's out in her garden doing her thing a little warm in here because i actually didn't turn the exhaust fan on which i'm surprised that the mirror that i'm viewing myself in is not all steamed out but it's all good all right so let's go with the island man i'm gonna sing that stupid island boy song that those kids do <laughs> oh this look how big this knot is look that's huge it's like my whole face Yeah, I believe the original knot in this brush was a 26. I honed it out when the original knot fell out and the coin fell out after that. But I love the handle. I used to call it my predator brush. I still do. I'm trying to find a predator coin that would fit in the hole there, but it's a one inch so if you know of a predator coin you know from the movie predator that's one inch let me know mm. this knot does a quick job of whipping up lather and putting lather on your face look at that it's a monster Ooh. all righty such a very nice invigorating scent Island Man from Sterling. A little bit of everything islandy like in this soap. All right. Razor Rock Eco Crown. Half blade. Or you could just snap a DE blade in half, which is very easy to do. And just put it in this razor.
This razor is made of aluminum, so it's very light, and the feedback is nice and loud. Sometimes with light razors, though, I find myself pushing a little harder than I need to. But I definitely do like the shave I get out of this. And how can you go wrong for $29 and you get a hundred of those crown blades included if you ordered from Italian Barber which I actually don't know of anywhere else to order this razor I would really like to see if they ever come out with this razor i know there are other single edge razors that razor rack makes that are made out of stainless steel but if they make this out of stainless that would be awesome because i believe the other razors they make that are stainless in single edge take a proprietary blade And I like the fact that you can use any DE blade you desire. Or any of the half DE blades. I love this razor for under the nose and the mustache area. Very nice. And great feedback to boot. And since we're using Sterling today, we know that that soap is gonna be nice and slick. Oh yeah, I could technically do my next pass without even re-lathering but I have plenty of lather with that gigantic 30 millimeter tuxedo knot from Maggards look at that it's, it takes two seconds to put that on the face yeah so anyway the weather here is crazy. I know I always talk about the weather, but it's been weird lately. It's like one day it's warm, the next day it's chilly. It's a good way to get yourself sick, I think. Razor Rack Eco. Great feedback. Sounds like you're Scraping toast. That would be my wife. She always burns her toast. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to get the question again. Which razor do I like better? The Razor Rack Eco or the twig by leaf I like them both I do like the weight of the twig but I do love this razor too I also love the color of this razor I'm a green kind of guy I like green I like green like blue All right, Glenn, stop it. I know I'm gonna shave off my skin. <laughs> well, it's good, but it's smooth. That is slick, slick, slick. Wow, I got just a little tiny bit over there in the jawline.
That's because it grows in a funny direction over there. All right, before I make, oh, I just dumped my towel in the sink. Dumb move, rookie move. All right, let's try to break down some of the slickness because it is nice and slick. Great sterling base which I think hasn't changed in years, which is great. All right, let's empty good old Sigmund the Sea Monster sink. My face is feeling smooth. And Sigmund agrees. All right. How many times do I have to wipe this counter down? I don't know. All right, cold water rinse. Cold water should be cold because it was freezing cold last night. Oh, yeah. Some people like a warm water rinse after their shave. I like it cold. I get warm when I'm shaving, but cold when I'm done. I just think because psychologically... I think it closes my pores, even though I think scientifically it does not, but whatever. It feels good. Using the old K towel. Yeah. Dries off the face quickly. Oh, that's perfect. All right. Go Karen towel with the clippy. Got a little twisted there. All right, so let me recap this awesome shave. That was Island Man from Sterling. 5.8 ounces in these containers. You get a lot. Like it has a little bit of uh, a nice blue tint. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It was really blue when I first bought it. Now it's kind of easing down on the blue. We used a Razor Rock Eco today in total stuck formation the way i actually got it from an italian barber and in there is a crown half blade and brush we used today was the predator 30 millimeter tuxedo a beast with the old parkway token actually i'll rinse this out real quick and i'll show you that big old maggot 30 millimeter tuxedo knot It'll only take a second to rinse it out because it is a synthetic. I almost couldn't get that word out. It holds lots of lather. It is a 30 millimeter, so it is a beast. Look at that monster. Hoo hoo hoo. It's big. It's a big one. Parkway token. Now everything is easy pass now. <laughs> but back in the day, you had to fling your token out the window into the basket on the Garden State Parkway. All right, let's finish this off with some goodness. The matching aftershave splash, Island Man. Yeah, got that nice blue color. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That'll wake you up too. Kazing. Like I said, I did check this morning. This is in stock, hopefully for the rest of the season. Because my last couple of shaves, the soap's actually been on the stock. All right, and by the way, the ingredients on that, because it's so easy to read on the side of the bottle. I love it when artisans do that. All right, folks, so if you enjoyed today's Sterling's Island Man Shave, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, <laughs> hit that dislike button. And please subscribe. I don't know what's going on. I'm like going up subscribers, going down subscribers, but please subscribe. Always can use subscribers, and you guys are awesome. You always comment on my videos. I rarely get a negative comment, 
which is awesome. And I try to get back to every one of my folks that, you know, leave a message. So stay safe. Until next shave, Glenn signing off.